Well, look, I think it's about a year ago, uh, one of the most memorable images of modern times mm -hmm. was that American aircraft trying to take off from the airport in Kabul and the Afghan people holding onto the wheels. Mm -hmm. Desperate people trying to... fearing for their lives because of the Taliban taking over. And I think we made promises to the people of Afghanistan, particularly translators and others who helped mm. our services that we failed to keep. For all the reasons, Colin, you have just expressed, these are incredibly difficult promises to keep. But I think the level of danger that people who helped us during those two decades we were in Afghanistan is so great, I think we have to do more. Um, we've discussed the housing mm -hmm. crisis, you and I, a number of times on this programme, and of course we need to address that. But we still do know women, young girls aren't going to school in Afghanistan. Many people are being killed by the Taliban. Many people are being tortured. I'm afraid we do have to redouble our efforts to help those people who I'm afraid we have let down. Can, can we redouble our efforts, though, whilst recognising that this was a disaster that was not of our making. This was an American decision. This was Joe Biden's decision to pull out in the way and with the speed with which this operation was mounted. I interviewed, I, I just saw um, Tobias Elwood uh, an hour ago, British MP, Defence Select mm -hmm. Committee. People like him and Tom Tugendhat were saying, we should stay and fight. I mean, it was an extreme position that British troops should stay and fight. But the reason we're left with the mess we're in today is because of what Joe Biden decided to do, Dr. Nassimi. And I think that uh, Great Britain historically, uh, in terms of promoting human rights and democracy, they have a very good track record. In many, many other countries, including Hong Kong and some other countries in, in, in the Indian continent. But I think that in the case of Afghanistan, uh, we urge the UK government and the British politician and the British public to make sure that they will not leave Afghanistan people alone in a such a very, very difficult situation that these people, they, need, uh, they are facing uh, so many issues and problems.